guys here welcome back thanks for clicking so this particular church in united states of america was turned into a mosque islam takes over in a former united states church let's check that the skyline in this inner city neighborhood of syracuse new york is pierced by the spires of a red brick building crescents having replaced crosses staring toward the heavens this building is now known as Masjid Isa ibn Maryam, or the Mosque of Jesus, Son of Mary. Until four years ago, it was called the Holy Trinity Church. Walk inside and a verse from the Quran engraved in wood reads, Allah will forgive everyone, regardless of their sins. I always say that these walls were waiting to hear the Quran for a hundred years, and that's kind of the sense I had right from the very beginning. Yusuf Sol has been a part of this church to mosque journey from the beginning. He admits it was not easy to hear Islam's call to prayer, the Adhan, echo in a church. There are some people who are very angry and upset. People who I never saw before were angry at me personally, because I um, people put me a little bit in front being an American. Built in the early 20th century, Holy Trinity served a growing population of German and Italian immigrants. Many were baptized, married, and buried there. But changing demographics doomed Holy Trinity. Parishioners moved from the city to the suburbs, replaced by a new wave of immigrants and refugees, many of whom were Muslim. We broke bread with many different groups and eventually um, they, were, they were at peace and at ease with the idea of this becoming a mosque. In 2010, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Syracuse closed the church as part of a regional reconfiguration. Although others were willing to pay three times the price to turn the church into a bar, it was sold to a Muslim group for much less money, so God could still be worshipped in a house of God. And then the rehabilitation of the building started. Pews were removed, its wood used to fix the floor, thousands of crosses on the walls were redesigned or painted over. The crosses on the spires were replaced and saved as precious reminders of the building's past. We still need to uh, raise some funds and replace those lights because it is a bit dark in here. This mosque is different than others in the area because there is not a separate room or wall separating men and women. There is no designated imam or a person to call for the prayers. The idea is the mosque belongs to everyone and anyone can call for or lead the prayer. Even 14-year-old Sajjad Samir from Afghanistan. Uh, I always practice with myself and uh, uh, people in the mosque encouraged me to give azan. And um, I started giving azan for like a few days. Refugees from several countries live near this mosque. But it serves a community beyond just the Muslims. So they uh, really do see themselves as serving the entire neighborhood from a food pantry open to all uh, to picnics and summer events and other uh, things. So they really are wonderful community partners who want to serve the entire community, not just uh, the members, the Muslim community locally. Yusuf Sol says do not believe everything you see in the media because contrary to some perceptions, America has an incredible amount of welcoming people who embrace diversity and love people for who they are. Sabah Shahan, VOA News. Syracuse, New York. Aww. So cute. This is really sad. Why will a church close down? Why? Why? No matter what, you're not supposed to close down. No matter how the trial times or things. I just don't get it. We are all doing things for God. We are not doing it for human sake. We don't do it for the worldly desires. Why will a church close down? And this church wanted to you know, sell the land to a bar. Then a Muslim came over and said, Oh, instead of being selling it to a bar, let's buy it and build it as a mosque. So they now had to rebrand it and build it as a mosque. That's why you will notice that there are some signs. Uh, I'm sure it was a Catholic church that was rebuilt as mosque. Because you see the the picture of Jesus on the you know the window side and I was just not happy to hear the fact that a church closed down and the statement that man make that made me happy and I was like wow that was really good he said since the the, the place was meant for worship to worship God and now they've closed the church 
why don't you sell it to a religion that also worship God in the purpose of serving God sell it so that people can also serve God that we are all serving the same God be it Islam or Christianity and the most beautiful part of it is that they did not segregate people both men and women are not separated because the way the church was built there's no way you can separate the men from the women so everybody will come together and pray and there was a particular young guy that led the prayer and they said he is 14 years old he led the prayer and if muslims can take their religion so 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 religiously like can take it so dearly to their hearts what happened to christians what is christianity turning into why will a church in united states of america close down what was the reason is it financial issue is it because they're not getting enough members or what was the problem exactly why why will they close down no matter what a church should not close down a church should be a place of peace a church should be a place where people will be welcomed with open arms in which people can go there at any time to worship so what went wrong with the church i'm just you know there are a lot of reasons why i have to think that way but it's painful it's painful but like the man said it's better for the building to be turned into a mosque than for it to turn into a bar so it's, it's the best that was the, really the best the fact that it was later reconstructed into a mosque at least is a still a place of worship but i'm just disappointed that it closed down what do you think guys what's your thought about it why do you think they closed down what could be the reason? Is it financial issue? Is it is it that the members are dropping? Or is it because of the members were dropping? Is it that they were into a lot of loans? What do you think? And what do you have to say about this church turning into a mosque? What's your opinion? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Let's keep this discussion going, guys. Woo! Yeah. And it's a wrap, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.